Tip number one, pick the right build for your playstyle. There are three types mainly, roaming, clouding, and zerging. For roaming, I recommend any thief or mesmer. Stealth and mobility are overpowered at the small scale. It lets you disengage or burst your opponents with ease. For clouding, I recommend the Longbow Ranger. At mid-scale, you want to stand at range and shoot your opponents. This is the most effective way to cloud. For Zerging, I recommend the Support Guardian, either Celestial or Minstrel. Because in a Zerg, you will take a lot of random damage, so it is better to have some survivability. You can find many builds at guildgen.com. Tip number two, understand how to navigate the maps. Following the commander is the easiest. Otherwise, you should generally stay near your own territories so that you can hide in them when you need a safe zone. If you want to venture out to hostile zones, you should be in a good mobility, roaming build, or in a group. Otherwise, you will usually get outnumbered and destroyed quickly. Tip number three. Unlock the War Claw and gliding as soon as possible. This is because mobility in World vs. World is king, and both of these give you a massive boost to your movement speed. Also, remember to set your reward track. Tip number four. Outnumbering your opponents is the biggest advantage in World vs. World. The way combat works in this game is that having a numerical advantage is usually more important than anything else so you should take fights when you have more and retreat when you have less. Tip number five. Last and most important tip is to just do whatever you want. World versus world is a sandbox mode, so frankly, you can do anything in it and there are no consequences. Yes, that's right. You can do absolutely anything you want and nobody can stop you. This is why I think World vs. World is the best game mode in Guild Wars 2. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.